Yo, what's up? This is your boy Rich, and I got a special video for you today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys the top 10 cannabis stocks in America right now. It's true. Are you ready? Because I was born ready. Were you born ready? All right. Number one, these guys are generating $28.3 million in America right now, up 739% year over year, True Leaf Cannabis Corporation, TCNNF in America, TRUL, True Leaf Cannabis Corporation in Canada at $9.96. I just think this company has so much potential. I really, really do. Let's take a look at it, TRUL. True Leave Cannabis Corporation in Canada, and I know Bar Chart has them as. Uh, what do you got a opinion on this Bar Chart? Oh, no opinion. Thirteen dollars and twenty-seven cents in Canada, down two point two one percent. The volume is only one hundred twenty thousand, but you can see it's been as high as. $23, $24 actually, in Canada, currently at 13 What do you think about True Leaf Cannabis Corporation in number one spot in my list for December 2018? True Leaf, it's down considerably from its high high. Its low low is around $10 in Canada, currently at $13.27. Do you think this is going to go lower? Do you think this is going to go higher? This is what I want to know. It is now number one at $28.3 million in revenue for the quarter. True leave in number two spot. What do we got as number two? How about MedMen? M-M-E-N. That's right. MedMen. Wow. What a monster MedMen is. It is a 64% sell on bar chart. I don't know about that. I like this company. It was down 5.38% at only $4.40 in Canada. Honestly, I believe this bad boy can go way, way higher. That's my opinion. What do you guys think? They are number two in America right now. Up, are you ready for this? 1,088%. That's right. It's up. 1,088% year over year at $21.5 million in revenue. They are just a monster. MedMed is number two for December 2018. The number two revenue generating company in America. And number three right behind them, which I love them as well, is Cura. C-U-R-A. A beast. Cura Leaf Holdings. Love these guys. Up 289% over the last year. Cure Leaf at $7.02 in Canada right now. I love this company at $21.4 million. Only 100000 behind MedMan. Up 289% over the last year. They're number three. Cure Leaf Holdings. Do you agree with my top three so far? They are the biggest, baddest three in America. There's your top three. It's true. True Leave, MedMan, Cura. Those are the big three in America in the cannabis sector right now. Big three to watch for December. You heard it here first from your boy Rich. Yeah, sporting the Toronto Maple Leafs. We're going to win the cup this year. You heard it here first from your boy Rich. Toronto Maple Leafs. Winning the Stanley Cup, breaking a huge drought for the Maple Leafs. We're going to win the Cup this year. It's true. Now, in number four spot in America, I love this company. I've been talking about it a lot lately. KSHB. Kush Bottles. Love these guys. Absolutely love these guys. These guys are like one of the original OGs. For cannabis stocks in America. Kush. That's right. How do you not love the name? Kushko. Kushko. I mean, it doesn't get better than that. Kushko 
Holdings at $5.75. An original OG in number four spot in America at $5.75. This bad boy, wow, up 55% in the last year. $20 million. That's right, $20 million in revenue for this bad boy. What do you think about Kush Bottles? I want to know what you think, guys. Comment down below. Smash that like button. It's a 48% buy on bar chart, only down 1.71%. So it is strengthening its momentum from bar chart. What do you think about Kush bottles in number four? And in number five, man, this is making the fab five. I want all five of these, okay? You heard it here first from your boy, Rich. I want all of these five. In fact, I want the whole top 10 list I'm going to give you guys today for absolutely free, okay? These are the Fab Five Monsters in America. Charlotte's Web in number five spot at $15.10. Love this bad boy. 17.7 million in the quarter and up 57% year over year love the growth of all of these companies in america c web in number five what do you think do you agree with c web in number five they are a beast i love them now remember rich tv live is strictly for education entertainment purposes always do your due diligence always do your research whenever you talk and whenever you're investing and whenever you're watching your boy rich it's all entertainment and education purposes i am not licensed I'm just like you. I'm an average guy trying to do above average things. And together, the people, we can all work together to help each other win and identify these winners. Look, I got Canopy Growth right on the homepage of Rich TV Live. All these tools are free. Would you like to get featured? Would you like to see our breaking news? Everything is free here, people. All the stock tools I use from the gods are free. Everything. You want to get in the CBD game. Holler at your boy. You want to get into cryptos. Your boy is working with licensed LPs. You want to see all the trending sports. It's all right there. You want to learn about us. You want to contact us. You want to join our secret stock picks group. It's all right there. Just hover over all the tools of the gods. All of this is brought to you by YouTube. Without YouTube, none of this is even possible. We love you, YouTube. And all the other social media platforms that your boy Rich is being watched on in over 60 countries worldwide. I want to thank you guys. Soon we're going to be breaking 18,000 subscribers. Please subscribe, hit that bell for notifications so every time we have any breaking news, picks, anything to share with you guys, you guys hear it first, okay? So there's the top five to rehash it. Number one is... True Leave, number two is MedMen, number three is Cura, number four is Kushko Bottles, number five is SeaWeb, and number six is... <laughs> this company's a beast, GTII. Wow. Green Thumb Industries is a monster. Love these guys. Such a good company. This company is such a good company. I mean, like, wow. Like, what could you say about GTII other than they are just a monster? I love these guys. Number six spot with 349% growth year over year. Are you kidding me? That is just mind boggling. My mind is boggled when I think about Green Thumb Industries, okay? 17.2 million in revenue. That is is spectacular let's look at their growth over the year the chart is phenomenal you can see they've been much lower right so they have done extremely well they have done extremely well they've been as low as eight dollars and 61 cents currently at 1328 but they've been as high as 32 dollars you know i'm gonna mark this because i believe they will be back there again you heard it here first from your boy rich and look at where they are right now $13. So there's going to be a day, not too long from now, and you heard it here first from your boy Rich, where this will go all the way back to $32 because this company is a beast. So what's happened is in the cannabis stocks, a lot of these stocks have come down. They were overvalued, overpriced. The price to earning ratios were way out of whack. 100 to 200 times revenue. 
Now what's happening is these companies' revenues are growing. Green Thumb Industry revenue, 17.2 million for the quarter. SeaWeb's revenue, 17.7 million for the quarter. Cush Co's Bottles revenue, 20, point, 20 million for the quarter. Cura's revenue, 21.4 million for the quarter. Medman's revenue, 21.5 million for the quarter. Truly's revenue, 28.3 million for the quarter. So the revenues are just growing exponentially. These are just the American ones. I haven't even talked about the Canadian ones. I'm focused on the American ones, if you haven't noticed. These are the companies that are reporting in U.S. revenue. Reporting in U.S., okay? These are U.S. reporting issuers. That's the top six in revenue right now. In number seven is CVSI. Now, CVSI is a company that has broken records. They have been a shooting star all year until the shorts got a hold of them and pretty much destroyed this stock. Even though this stock was up thousands of percent for cannabis investors this year, it has been shorted heavily and has even been taken to court by certain short, um, infamous short sellers. We're not going to mention names. You can mention the names if you like. You can comment about it. Okay? I'm not going to mention names. We're not going to give them any more publicity. <laughs> not unless they want to come on our show. If you want to come on our show, then we'll give you some publicity. But these guys have been shorted aggressively. But before that, look at this. They were up. Are you ready for this? They are up currently. 2,179% on the year which is just mind-boggling. They've been up as high as 4,000% for investors. They've been as high as $9.20. They've come back a lot due to all those short sellers and all the lawsuits and all the nonsense that's going on in the marketplace. And now they're starting to slowly climb up. And I think that they may have hit a bottom. I really, really do. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to bottom hunt for you guys, okay? And if you guys can work with me and we can all bottom hunt together and we can find the bottoms for these stocks, we can make it big, okay? So now if you look over the last year, you can see this has been staggering. I've been marking this for you guys. So it's come down a lot. And it hit a bottom of about $3.51. So over the last little while, $3.51 is the lowest it's been. I'm going to mark that right now. So we've seen it way higher. We've seen it come down. This is the bottom for the last couple months. We are now starting to come down back from the bottom. We're at $5. It was at $3.50. So if you're a trader, you're thinking, okay, if I can buy it at $3.50, that might be the bottom. But let's watch it for a bit. You know, I want to know what you guys think. What do you think about CV Sciences? Number seven on my list, up 143% year over year as far as revenue. And the revenue is 13.6 million for the quarter, which is very, very good growth for yet another company in America. And in number eight spot, one that you probably don't even know about, it's a brand new one, H-A-R-V. It's true, H-A-R-V, Harvest Health and Recreation Inc. In Canada is the symbol and they are reporting as a U.S. issuer, but once again, a company that wants to be listed in Canada. I've seen this trend where they want to be listed in Canada. I don't understand it because the market in America is much bigger. I don't get why they want to be listed in Canada. It might be because that's where the money is being raised, but I think that this is going to change here very soon. Now, this is a company that's a brand new issuer. You want to put it on your watch list, put it on your radar, H-A-R-V. They are up Harvest Health and Recreation Inc. They're up 62% year over year, and they top the revenue charts at number eight. It's true, with 11.2 million in revenue. And it's probably one you haven't even heard of, and they're at $7.15. That's right. So do you notice that the ones that have the most revenue are also priced the highest? So we have to see this trend and identify the ones that are priced low but have high revenue because the price should follow because all of these companies that have higher revenue are also priced higher. If you notice the trend here. Now here's a beast. Number nine. It's mind boggling that they're number nine on this list because their price is the highest out of all of these stocks. This is Tilray. Now Tilray has been one of the biggest success stories in the cannabis sector in 2018 up 
staggering amounts, hundreds of percent for investors that got in early when they first did their IPO and they IPO at around $20 and now they're around $102. So up 500% for early investors. And when I say early, I only mean like a couple months ago. So they've been a huge success story in the cannabis sector, a Canadian company once again reporting in America and they're up 86% revenue year over year at $10 million for the quarter, but they are the highest price stock, mainly because of their small float, the small amount of shares is the reason why Tilray has been such a rocket, but it has made great returns for investors. It's been as high as $300. It has been a huge success story for the cannabis sector. Everybody, all the shorters are trying to short it, but it continues to just prove everybody wrong and prove that it can't be shorted still at $102. I know that everyone's going to try, but this is one that I would personally not short. Let's see what happens. A lot of shares are going to be coming available in January. A lot of shorters are promising that's when it's going to go down. Let's see. This is your boy, Rich. That is number nine on our list. And number 10, the top 10 cannabis stocks for December 2018. Absolutely free from your boy, Rich. Top 10 reporting issuers in America. Number 10, Grow Generation, GRWG. I did a video on this recently. Love this company. I think it's priced right. I think it's going to explode at some point. It is a company to watch, okay? And they are generating 8.4 million for the quarter, 109% up since last year. That's our top 10 GRWG. It is a 80% sell on bar chart. I think this is one you need to definitely put on your, your radar, put it on your watch list, GRWG. That's our top 10. Let's say it again. GRWG is number 10, Tilray is number 9, HARV is number 8, CVSI is number 7, CWEB is number, oh, GTII is number 6, CWEB is number 5, Kushko is number 4, Cura is number 3, and number 2 is MedMen, and in number 1 spot, truly T-R-U-L, do you agree with me, do you disagree with me, those are the top 10 reporting issuers in America, December 2018. You gotta watch them, put on your radar, put on your watch list. If you like this video, smash the like button, comment down below, let me know what you think about my picks. True Leave number one, revenue generating cannabis stock reporting in America right now. It's a beast at $13.27. This is your boy Rich. Wanna know what you guys think? Comment down below, share this video everywhere. If I win and you win, we all win. It's true. Holler at your boy. I'm out. Peace. Market's opening soon. So exciting.